Hi everyone, in this video I'll be going over apply your learning question number one from the net ionic and acid base equations unit. Question one asks us to write the balanced chemical equation for the reaction between hydrobromic acid and sodium hydroxide, including the state of each compound. Looking at the chart, we can see that the formula for hydrobromic acid is HBr, and the formula for sodium hydroxide is NaOH. So we're given the reactants of our equation, so we can go ahead and write those out. And I'll leave blanks for the states and we can come back to those later. So this is an acid-base equation, and we know that when a strong acid and a strong base react together, they form water and a salt. So we can fill in our products with water, and then when we look at our reactants and we take out the components of water, we see that the remaining salt would be NaBr, or sodium bromide. And so now that we've filled out the entire equation, we can refer to our general solubility rules below to figure out what the state of each compound would be. So if a compound is soluble, it will be in the aqueous state because when a compound is present as its component ions, it is known to be in the aqueous state. When water is formed, we can go ahead and assume that water is going to be a liquid because that's the general form of water unless otherwise specified. But let's check the others. So NaBr is a group 1 ion, and it says here that Group 1 ion compounds are soluble, so that will be in the aqueous state, which is denoted by an AQ. Then, since HBr and NaOH, or hydrobromic acid and sodium hydroxide, are both strong acids and strong bases, they will be completely present as their component ions in solution, so those would also be in the aqueous state. And so HBr, NaOH, and NaBr are all present in the aqueous state, and water would be present in its liquid state. So this is the final answer to question number one.